G'day, Scott here, and today we're talking about data sourcing for the Haltech IC7 and UC10 display dashes within the Nexus software program at Software. Before we start, this information is for Haltech display dashes that are compatible with or have been updated for use with the NSP software. So that's the IC7 and the UC10 dashes that have been updated to firmware version 2.26.3 or later. If you've got a Haltech IC7 dash that uses the older ICC style software and you want to update it for use with the NSP software, I'll pop a link in the comments that'll walk you through the process. It'll take sort of about 15 minutes. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Haltech display dashes are CAN devices that send and receive information across the CAN network that they're connected to. In most installations, the dash will be connected with an engine management system, so hopefully a Haltech one, but they can also be connected to a range of aftermarket engine management systems or the OBD2 port of a factory engine management system. The IC7 and UC10 have a heap of direct or wired inputs and outputs that can be configured independent of the CAN network. First, let's look at the CAN sources starting with Haltech's CAN network. To set up CAN communications with a Haltech ECU, the Haltech dash needs to be specifically configured for it. This is usually our default dash configuration. However, if you're setting it up from a different configuration, the first step is to connect the dash to the NSP software and enable the Haltech CAN bus setting in connections, which is found over on the left-hand side of the tree here. The next step is to assign the CAN port on your dash by navigating to the CAN subnode in the navigation tree. This must be assigned to Haltech CAN bus port one. The terminating resistor needs to be enabled if the dash display is the last device at the end of the CAN network. So this is normally enabled. Your Haltech ECU will also need to be set up to broadcast the CAN communications. To do this, click on the connect disconnect icon in the top left hand side of the NSP software and choose the ECU to connect to. Similarly, Enable the Haltech CAN bus setting in connections and assign the correct CAN port on your ECU. Most Haltech ECUs will have more than one CAN port and the correct one will depend on how your ECU has been wired into that car physically. If you're unsure, there is an option to use both CAN ports, which is probably most commonly used. Once the dash and ECU are configured to send and receive the Haltech CAN data, you will see engine data on the dash and you're ready to go. If both the ECU and the dash are new from Haltech, they'll be configured like this from the factory and it'll be a true plug and play experience. The next method of communication is OBD2. If you're using the Haltech dash with the standard ECU in your car, then you can configure it to communicate via your vehicle's OBD2 port. But there is a catch. The factory ECU in the car must be OBD2 compliant, which started around 2007. For a true plug and play experience to connect your dash to the car's OBD2 port, you'll need a dash to OBD2 cable, and that can be purchased straight off our website. Or you could make your own wiring between the dash's CAN connector and your OBD2 connector if you're keen on some wiring. Once it's connected to the car, we need to go online with the dash using the NSP software and navigate to the connections tab and enable third party CAN. Click on CAN and choose CAN bus port one as the wiring connection. Then onto third party CAN bus under connections in the tree and select OBD2 as the protocol. It sounds tricky, but I promise it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you do anything wrong, the software will highlight it red and guide you through. From here, the Haltech dash will be able to show the following data from the OBD2 compliant factory ECUs from around 2007 onwards. Engine RPM, manifold pressure, throttle position, uh, coolant temperature, inlet air temperature, vehicle speed, and the short and long-term fuel trims. The next style of CAN communication is the third-party ECU CAN. So if you've got a Haltech dash and you're using an aftermarket ECU that's not a Haltech ECU, well, don't worry. We wanna make your experience just as easy as the rest of us. At the time this video is going live, support for aftermarket ECUs includes Hondata, FuelTech, Link, 
Max ECU, Microtech, the Motec M1 and 100 series, as well as the Cyvex, and there are more on the way. If you've got an aftermarket ECU that's not on the list, please drop the support guys a message and we'll do our absolute best to get in touch with your manufacturer in the hope of supporting as many ECU's CAN protocols as possible. Setting up your third party ECU is similar to the OBD2 instructions, but instead of selecting OBD2 in the third party CAN protocol box, we'll click on the drop down and select the supported ECU that you have. To set this up, the display dash needs to be powered up and connected to the NSP software. And the third party CAN bus setting needs to be enabled under communications. Depending on the ECU you have, there'll be a different set of additional channels that the Haltech dash supports. You'll need to individually assign these channels as generic CAN channels within the NSP software and within your chosen engine management system. Once you set up the generic channels within your ECU, you can display that data on any of the dash screens, just like any of the other data that's available. Next, let's take a look at external channel sources. In some cases, you might want your Haltech dash to display certain channels from sensors or devices wired directly to the dash's main connector, either as a fully standalone unit or in conjunction with data that's coming in from a CAN source. You can actually mix both. Here are a couple of examples of direct inputs you may want to take advantage of. The first one would be the TACO input. By default, Haltech dashes look for the CAN data for engine RPM, but it doesn't have to be that way. To set up the dash for a direct TACO connection, navigate to sensors in the tree and enable the TACO input function. This tells the dash to look at the signal coming from the TACO input pin on your Haltech dash rather than the CAN stream. Then, Go to the TACO setup screen and choose the correct number of cylinders and make sure it's wired to the correct pin on the back of the dash, then you're good to go. This input is typically used in a standalone configuration where there is no CAN data. Similar to the RPM channel, the vehicle speed channel looks at the CAN data by default as well. To change it to a direct input, enable the vehicle speed function under sensors. Then enable whichever sensor you want to display on the dash wire the speed sensor to the input of your choosing and you're good to go. Unlike the RPM or the speed channels, the indicators, the handbrake and the high beam channels are typically not available over the CAN network and need to be wired directly to the dash in order to turn on the light when each of them are activated. Each of these need to be wired directly into the analog inputs on the dash and are enabled in the default configuration. However, if you've got a Haltech ECU or a Haltech PDM controlling your vehicle's lighting system, it makes this system a whole lot easier. All that data would be available over the CAN network and all that stuff would just work. All we would need to do would be to disable the direct input so the dash knows to look at the CAN network for this information instead of the direct inputs. And that's how you source data for your Haltech dash within NSP. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but once you open the software and have a look through all the menus, it becomes a whole lot clearer. If there's anything else Dash related you'd like to see a video on, drop us a comment. And if you've found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm also gonna put a link below to our knowledge base on this article so you can click on that and read all the text. As always, thanks very much for watching Haltech TV. My name's Scott, catch you next time.